Hello, in this video we're looking at Google Calendar. So to access it, we click on the nine boxes there and we go to Calendar. Now obviously you're all probably familiar with using Calendar. You can change your view from date to week to month to four day or you can change it to agenda view. Agenda view gives you this list view format where you can click plus to get additional information. So we're gonna go back to week view um, for those who are not familiar with it, you to add an appointment, you just click and drag. Um, having done that, you can then add a title. And choose which of the calendars, if you have multiple calendars, you want it to go to. You can also edit the event and you can add a location. You can add a, a Hangout call or a YouTube Live call. You can put in a description, you can colour code the event and set when you get a notify reminder. You can also set whether it be visible publicly or only private. You can also add guests. So that is how we use calendars. However, the bit I want to focus on is creating a new calendar. So what we do is we come to where it says calendars here, we click create new calendar. We put in the name. We put in a description. We could put in a location if we felt it was appropriate. So I'll put in UK. You can then choose the time zone. So that's all, I'm happy with that. And then the bit which people aren't necessarily aware of, if you wish to make it a public calendar, and I do because I want to embed it into a Google site, you tick the box there. That means that it's visible and people can see the sessions that are appearing. So I use it to show my students when I'm available for tutorial. Now you can change what's visibly, visible publicly by ticking the box here and then it will just say busy or free. I like the students to see exactly what's available within my calendar. And then the final thing you can do is you can add other people who you wish to edit. So I'm gonna add another email address and then you can choose what settings they can have access to. So they can either see all the event details, they can make changes to events, they can manage and change sharing or they can just see for free or busy. So I'm gonna go uh, make changes to events and add person. So we can see that's visible there and if I wanted to get rid of that account I could press delete. So they're the main settings. So to recap we've added a title, we've put in a description, we've set whereabouts in the world we are, we've set a country and the time zone. In this case we've decided to make it public. We've added an additional editor and then we're going to click create calendar. So it's going to give me a warning that it's going to be visible and we're quite happy with that. And we'll now see once it's created, it will appear here. So we can see James demo now. So we can see if I had posts appearing in this calendar, you would see the orange ones would relate to my personal calendar. The pink ones, we bring that on, would, would show 17 holidays. The green ones would show birthdays and so on and so forth. So having got that ready, I'm now gonna do another new tab. And from that tab, I'm going to create, let's go to Google Sites. So we'll go to Google Drive first. Let's wait for it to catch up. And then from Drive, we'll go new and more and across to Google Sites. So whilst we wait for Google Sites to open, we're just gonna post a couple of things on this calendar. So we'll And then having created it, I'm just going to edit it and choose my calendar I've just created and save. 
and you can see that's matching the color there. I'm going to add another post in here, do the same thing. Make sure I choose the right calendar and create. Okay, so I'm now going to go back to my site. Um, imagine that I've added all of the header. I'm going to come down to the menu on the right. I'm going to choose calendar. It's going to let me choose which calendar. So I'm going to choose James Demo. I'm going to click insert. And we can see at the moment it's in agenda view, but I can choose week for you if it will let me. Come on. Make it full screen. Uh, and then we can just change to week view. So we click on the cog, we can see the title, we can see the show the date, the navigation buttons and view selection. We can also from there change it to week view. I don't need the title, um, so I'm going to hide the title. And done. And you can see the two sessions that I added are visible there. If I go back to this, add another session, making sure it's on the right calendar. And hit create. Go back to the site and review the page. When it loads, you'll be able to see all of my sessions. So if you're looking to create a tutorial calendar or even share your timetable with your students, Google Calendars is a really easy way to achieve that. So here you can see the session that I've just added now appears there. And if there was additional information when they rolled onto that, they'd be able to see more information. So there you are, a very quick and easy way to make use of Google Calendar and to embed it into new Google Sites. Hope you found that useful. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel.